Hello Internet folk and hello to fans of the basic programming language. Just a very short video to uh, discuss arrays in basic and aware machine. Uh, the behavior of arrays and uh, maybe we'll get some rough insights into how uh, WWWBASIC uh, implements arrays. Now let's take a look at uh, some code I've got here and there's nothing very complicated. I'm just looking at, you know, here's array A and B, both of them string, uh, declared as a string and, and arrays of length, not really of length 4. By default, uh, basic anywhere machine, or www.basic, really, because that JavaScript library is, is the interpreter for basic, when we say dim a4, that's the same as saying dim 0 to 4. So uh, when we say dim 4, uh, we're essentially saying that the array is cells 0 to 4, so an array of 5 elements. So this is an array of 5 elements. Now in uh, www.wbasic, Oh boy, that's a mouthful. Uh, we have it has a familiar basic uh, statement called option base. Uh, um, yeah, option base. I think zero. I do believe that's that's the one. Yeah. So option base zero uh, tells us that arrays when they're declared, and uh, let's assume that the first cell is zero. And now we can also say option base 1 to say, look, no, we want a raise to start at 1. So by saying option base 1, that would be the equivalent of saying dim a 1 to 4, so cells 1 to 4. And if we were to say, you know, option base 1, dim a 4, and we're saying that we have a 4-celled array going on. And by default, basic anywhere machine, uh, assumes that your option base is zero. Now, uh, discovered a little oddity. Uh, I, at first, thought that uh, arrays, that uh, the the declaration here, the number we gave, was really totally ignored, and that arrays were all uh, dynamic arrays, so you can keep on adding to them as long as you want. Such is not the case. Uh, these numbers are actually used. Now let me run this program that I've got here. We see that okay, two arrays. We assigned a zero, that value right to a four, and then the array b we assigned b zero, and you'll see we got a loop here going on that says print, you know, zero to five, array zero to five values. Well, we don't have a five, but let's see what happens here when we run the program. It's a little bit of a quirk with how arrays are set up. So we see that, yeah, we had assigned A0 to cell A0. That's fine. And A1 and A2 and A3 and A4. Well, there is no A5, but when we do print A5, we get B0. So the very first uh, cell from the B array. So what this is telling me, uh -uh, without knowing JavaScript very well, so I have a hard time piecing together what's going on inside of uh, www.basic.js. It seems that when we declare arrays, it actually says, okay, an array of, let's remember, these are five elements. So it sets up five elements, and as soon as it sets those up into an array, it sets up the next five elements for the B array right in there. So it's like all the arrays are strung together. Uh, at least that's that's what I'm getting from this. Um, it's, my, it's my only explanation for what's going on. Why would A5, something that should really not exist, not cause any problems, but just show what's was meant for B, for that B array? So that's a little something to watch out for. I don't think this is anything terrible. It doesn't affect compatibility of uh, you know uh, programs created in other basic interpreters or compilers, other basic implementations, the arrays will work just fine here as well. 
Uh, it's just we've got to remember that, you know, if an array was only meant to have four elements, we don't want to go beyond that because then we'll be flowing into the elements of some other array that was declared after the first one. Now, uh, that aside, uh, let's just look at option base again really quickly. Uh, so option base zero, by saying option base zero, this is the default, so it doesn't change anything. The program exhibits the same behavior as, as what we saw before, so everything is fine. Uh, but then when we say option base one, now we're saying that there is no such thing as a zero. But let's see what happens. When we run the program, we say, okay, yeah, we said we wanted to start at one, but it started at zero, okay. Uh, so array zero is a zero, and a one, a two, a three, a four. But now we see that A4 never got anything. So what's the story there? Uh, what happens here is we're saying, we said that we want the base to start at 1, 1, 2, 4. But as soon as we assigned something to A0, which should not work because of the way we declared things, it said, OK, well, you wanted an array that was just four cells you know, four elements in the array. If you're going to start at zero, then we're going to end at three. So this A4 never happened, or seems to have never happened. Let's see what happens when we comment out this B here. So run, start. Uh, okay. <laughs> so it looks like A4 and B0 mean the exact same thing. Um, if we were to say in the program after this loop print b uh, b by b zero and let's run that again we see that the very last thing put into a four yeah, matches b zero and a four refer to the same area of memory, if you will. Well, let's put it that way. Anyhow, uh, off of the cuff presentation here, just to show a little bit uh, how arrays seem to work, uh, the, I'm going to be investigating a little problem in that basic anywhere machine, www basic, doesn't seem to like it if we declare a variable, say x equals 4, and use variables in uh, declarations of arrays for the uh, for the uh, dimensions of the array. So I want to figure out what's going on there because that's kind of a handy thing to have. It does not currently work with www basic. So um, I'm going to try to figure out what's going on and see if I can fix it so that this kind of thing works. Anyway, uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for your interest. Cheers. Bye bye.